Hi everyone, it's Coot here sending you love wherever you are around the world listening to this right now. You know, today I want to talk about a very simple topic. I call it the power of the mundane. The mundane, now I know you all like and love the mundane. Most of us are seeking for the big high. We're seeking for those huge peaks, the, the peak moments, the moment of orgasm, the moment of winning the trophy, a Grammy or an Oscar, that, that thrill of being in the zone and being on stage or arriving at the top of the mountain. You know, we're often seeking and chasing the high. And the miraculous, you know, as a young boy, I grew up seeing miracles my entire life. I grew up seeing my father heal the sick. My father literally put his hands on a woman in a wheelchair. And so for me, everything was, you could say, miraculous. I grew up seeing a crippled woman crawling on the floor, picking up the sand that he walked on, wiping it on her face <clears throat> and literally standing up. And I think many of us, we've been conditioned to chase and seek the very peak moments in life and if we're not careful I believe that the that the pursuit of the peak moments the pursuit of the high can actually become a very deadly addiction because when we're not in that peak moment when we're not in that peak state when we're not at the top of the mountain or on stage sometimes we tend to discount our lives we or when we're not in love for for instance we tend to discount our lives we tend to to be depressed or unhappy or miserable or a little bummed out we sold this idea that we have to achieve the peak at moment to moment to moment <clears throat> when in reality i believe that there is a power in the mundane. We seek the miraculous, but in between the miraculous and the mundane, you know, the mundane being changing your kids diapers, the mundane being, you know, simply driving your kid to, to work or washing the dishes, doing the, the daily groceries or, you know, cleaning the toilet, brushing your teeth, sending the email, uh, making that phone call, doing those daily things each and every day that, you know, it, it doesn't feel very sexy, it doesn't feel, let's say, very enlightening or enlightened or that fascinating or interesting or nothing to write home about or Facebook about or put on social media, those seemingly mundane things that really comprise the, the totality of life, those peak moments that you chase really last a moment. Orgasm is a moment, you know, uh, winning that trophy is a moment. They're all moments in time that are symbolic representations of all of the other moments, those seemingly mundane moments that led up to that very one moment, that one breakthrough. But even for a breakthrough to happen, it takes a series of consistent moments where you get to show up consistently in your life. I believe that to truly experience a full life, a fulfilling life, you must learn to embrace the mundane. <laughs> the mundane, those daily things in life that seem not so interesting. The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the degree you can embrace the seemingly mundane in your life. So, my friends, what do you get to embrace? What do you get to embrace? Because when you embrace the mundane, the in-between, the in-between where you are now and where you want to go. Because many times we're in a certain point in our lives and we want to get to a certain point, that peak, the top of the mountain, and there's a gap. And many times between where we are now and where we want to go, we we kind of wait, we put our lives on hold, we, we put our happiness on hold for some future moment in the future when that thing happens. We're waiting and I believe that waiting is suffering. The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the degree you can embrace the mundane. Those simple things, not just the meditation high, but just walking down the street, sipping a cup of water. You know, that moment where you, where you really need to take a pee and you just, ah, you take a pee, you know. Just those simple moments, those simple moments when you really bring your attention to those simple moments are in fact miraculous and life is made up 
of so many tens of thousands of simple moments. And the more you can squeeze juice, the more you can squeeze life, the more you can squeeze joy and fulfillment out of each and every second that you might take for granted the ability to move your hands. You know, think of everything that needs to happen in order to move your hands. Think of just the seemingly mundane process of eating food and digesting. Think of the simple mundane process of looking into your kids' eyes, looking into your spouse, your husband, your wife, your lover's eyes, and just seeing them from across the room. Those seemingly mundane moments are miraculous. They just sit with the trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of processes that happen in your body, the mundane processes that happen in your body in each moment. And how amazing it is. You know, we're often sold this idea that we should be on a constant high, which I think can set us up for actually a lower low. That life itself is made up of the totality, the high and the low. Life itself is made up of duality. Life itself is made up not only of the peak, but the valley. And to enjoy life, we must enjoy the valley. We must enjoy the low as well as the high and not get attached to the high. Similarly, not get attached to the low. Knowing that everything in between is part of life, is part of the spectrum. And if we are constantly chasing a state, a peak state, a high state, a feeling just great all the time, we must realize that every single thing, every single feeling, every single emotion, no matter how great is impermanent, is transitory, it will pass. This too will pass. So when you're able to realize that every state will pass, no state you experience, no matter how good, no, and I think that's what often gets us into trouble. We, we have this high moment, whether through an experience, whether through a drug, whether through alcohol and getting drunk, whatever it is, we, we have a, a high for a moment. But because it's a state, it dissolves. That I think when we embrace the nature of life, the nature of life, which is yin, yang, up, down, the duality, then you no longer hold on to the peak, but you also no longer indulge and hold on to the valley, but you find equilibrium, an equilibrium within yourself. And as you find that inner balance within yourself, it frees you up to experience life as it is. And when you're able to be with life as it is, embrace what is, embrace every single second of what is, whether it's sexy, whether it's enjoyable, whether it's high, whether it's low, and as you're able to embrace what is, then what is takes on a different quality. What was seemingly mundane takes on a whole new dimension. What was seemingly simply drinking a glass of water or eating a fruit, as you're fully with it without projecting like, well, this, this should be more than what it is, or, or, or I should be experiencing, you know, I think one of the, the killers to joy is this belief that, well, I should be experiencing more than what I am, or I'm not enough and I should be somewhat other than I am, or I should be having another experience than the experience I'm having right now. But when you're able to embrace this moment, whether it's washing dishes, and feel, feel that moment fully, drinking a glass of water fully and feeling the interaction of the molecules and, 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 and water hydrating your body and the miracle that's going on, then you start opening up to the, the simple reality, my friends, that every single second of your life, in between, in between, is miraculous. Feel that. I invite you to embrace the mundane. I invite you to embrace the in-between. I'll never forget going, I'll never forget years ago uh, when my, one of my best friends at the time called me who is no longer with us. He passed away about nine years ago. He was my, literally my dearest friend. And he called me up and I hadn't seen him in a while because I was too busy running around. And, and he said, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm coming into LA and I, I, I want to have lunch with you and catch up. 
And I remember saying to him, you know, Michael, uh, you know, I can fit you in, I can fit you in, you know, I can fit you in in between my, my yoga and going to my therapy session and then, and then in between and go, you know, doing my exercise. I can fit you in between and I'll never forget his comment on the phone to me. He said, Coop, don't forget that life, life is what happens in between. It's those simple moments. Most of those simple moments, a simple smile, a simple look, a simple touch, a simple recognition of the beauty, the beauty of what it is to be human, the beauty of what it is to be alive, those moments are free. They don't cost a penny. They don't cost, you don't have to put anything on your credit card. They, don't, they cost nothing. They're free. They're just inherently given to you out of the generosity of life itself. As a human being on the path, my friends, you won't be perfect. You will screw up. You may not always achieve your objective or what you consider success. But I believe that real success is the degree to which you can fully experience yourself and fully experience the moment as it is while it's happening and maximize that moment. I believe there's no greater success than being yourself and experiencing that joy. The joy of what it is to be fully alive. And when you are able to embrace the most mundane moment, brushing your teeth, <laughs> not waiting for some other moment other than brushing your teeth, washing the dishes and feeling the joy of that, then even that moment, even that most mundane moment becomes miraculous. I invite you to embrace the mundane. What mundane things do you get to embrace? Because when you bring that level of attention, that level of acceptance, that level of presence to that moment of your life, and you infuse it with meaning, and you remember the joy of that experience, every second of your life becomes quite miraculous and innocent and beautiful. Remember, my friends, life is in the in-between. Enjoy the in-between. Love you lots, sending you love. If you enjoyed this, I invite you to subscribe to my blog, to my website. You'll receive some amazing free gifts. I'm sending you love wherever you are right now. Big hugs.